Hey YouTube, Hexfile2708 here. Welcome to another pickups video. First of all guys, we have some, if I just reach them all across, um, I wanted a, a memory card for my PlayStation 2. So there's the memory card there. So as you can see, it's the official 8 meg Sony PS2 memory card. Next up guys, um, cash converters have got some Game Boy Advance games in. Uh, now a couple I picked up for myself, um, I do have a, a DS Lite so I can play those games um, and the other ones I picked up really for trading or for selling because I know they generally go for quite a bit more than I've uh, than I've paid so uh, let's have a look, there's seven, seven in total guys so first of all the ones that I picked up for myself uh, we have there we go, if you can see that, Sonic 2 Advance. So all of these guys were just uh, £2 each, so that's uh, that's the first one, Sonic 2 Advance. And that, uh, as I say, that's for my collection. Next one, guys, another one of my um, my favourite um, types of games at the moment. I'm big into the Lego games. So we have Lego Star Wars, again, £2. And again, that's for my collection. Um, let's have a look. This one I picked up probably for myself. Um, I've not heard of it before, but it was one of those that I thought it's either going to be really good um, or I'll just end up trading it. Uh, and it's a game called uh, Bay Blade V Force. Uh, so it's done by Atari, if you can see that one there. So I thought it was worth a punt at £2, but uh, if it's not my sort of game, I'll just stick it in my trades pile. And the next ones, guys, is, um, let's have a look, I've got another four here. Um, these I've picked up all for trade uh, or for selling. Looking on eBay, individually, they all go really for £10 plus. Um, so hopefully, you know, I can get some Mega Drive um, trades out of it or I'll just sell them on eBay and, uh, you know, get £10 plus for them. So, uh, first one, guys, is Pokemon Pinball. So that's that one there. So if, if you're interested in any, any of these guys, then I will sell them for uh, PayPal gift. Uh, so get in touch by PM. Or if you've got Mega Drive games that you want to trade, again, drop me a PM. So that one's available for trade uh, or for sale. Next one, guys, again, trade or sale is Pokemon Sapphire version. So again, if anyone's interested, let me know. And the next one is the Pokemon Ruby version. So that's that one there. Again, for sale or for trade. And then the final one, which seems to go for quite a bit um, quite a bit more money. This tends to go for £15 plus this one. Is the Pokemon Fire Red version. So again this one's in my trade or for sale pile so if you're interested in any of those Pokemon games guys or you're interested in all four I will do um, a better deal uh, if somebody wants to take all four in one go so uh, please get in touch by PM if uh, if there's any of interest um, next up guys I saw um, Retro Gamer Daz's uh, or one of his videos last week um, where he was giving us a sneak preview of the latest retro gamer bookazine and managed to get the wife to go into Smith's for me and picked up there we go guys the latest retro gamer bookazine so as you can see it's got the old um, 3D viewfinder on the front which I used to have some of those I think I had like the the Battle of the Planets um, viewfinder back in the day which uh, brought back some memories um, and this is, um, you know, 256 pages of classic retro gaming. I think most of you guys out there know um, all about the, the Retro Gamer magazine, but um, if by any, any slim chance you don't, then I wholeheartedly recommend you pick this one up just to get a... It's, it's £10, guys, this one. Um, so I think... Um, I can't remember, WH Smith sell it and um, one of the other major bookstores sell it as well. Um, so wholeheartedly recommend you pick this one up. This is like a, a compilation of um, a lot of the previous magazines. So there's lots of um, 
reviews and all sorts in here so definitely recommend picking it up and uh, value wise as well guys these do hold on um, hold on to the money so you know at the moment some of the older retro gamer booker zines are going for close to £100 on eBay so it's a good long term investment as well as an excellent read so um, that was that from there guys I went across to Chips I just brought one game while I was in there but um, I'll show you if I can see these two first yep yeah, this is one that I brought last week guys which I have already shown so it's Terminator on Mega CD unfortunately this would only get to the title screen and then it was just hanging um, there was a scratch on the disc so Nas said to uh, take it into the store and he'd put it through their um, scratch repairing machine that they've got and uh, he did that yesterday so I'm going to crack that one on later and hopefully that will get, um, get that one up and working the other one guys I've had this one in my collection for a long time so it's one that um, Ian Wilson 1978 sent me about a year ago um, absolutely covered in scratches it Ian said you know at the very worst you've got yourself a, um, a manual and case and uh, just pick up a loose CD so I, I, Ian was obviously um, aware and made me aware at the time that uh, it was scratched to pieces so Naz has also put that through the uh, the scratch removal machine as well to see if uh, you know we could tidy it up a bit enough that it's playable so fingers crossed on that one and then the one purchase that I made guys while I was in there um, a bit of a, um, a decision I've made as well so a lot of people in the past have said what uh, what are you going to do once you've completed the full PAL Mega Drive collection um, are you going to go for a full collection on anything else every time I've laughed at people and said no um, you know it's crazy enough going for a a full PAL Mega Drive collection as it is without committing to anything else but I have over the last few days guys decided to go for another full collection um, it's um, a decision that I've made based on um, enjoying the system anyway um, but uh, it's not a massive uh, amount of games to collect either so I've brought this game here I've already got um, about 10 uh, games for this system already in my collection um, and picked this one up in chips yesterday on the basis that I am now going to start going for a, a full collection for this system as well um, it's not going to take preference over the Mega Drive collection that is still going to be my main focus but this um, this full collection that I'm going for on the the other system is uh, something that I'll, I'll just trickle games into from time to time so the game that I've brought guys and you'll see the system there we go it's the Mega CD so I have decided to go for a secondary full collection for the PAL Mega CD so carrying on my Sega theme so the first game that um, that I've brought as part of going for the full collection you can see there guys is Final Fight absolutely superb price this as well guys if you can see in the top uh, top corner there six pound this normally goes for a hell of a lot more on eBay. A uh, very popular title, this one. Um, it's got its plastic weebly winky there. Not many of those are going to be around. And as you can see, guys, it's mint inside. So there's the, uh, the disc and the manual. So, yep, yeah, going for a full collection. I think there's just over 100 titles, guys. Um, but as I say, it's, uh, it's going to be a secondary full collection so my focus will not um, sway from uh, from the PAL Mega Drive collection um, so what I'm going to do now guys I, I got two more things while I was in chips they were given to me by NAS as display items for, uh, for my games room so I'm going to pause the video here very quickly guys and I'll be back with you in a sec to show you the two display items so I'll be back in a moment okay guys so this is the first um, store display that uh, that NAS gave to me as you can see it's a, um, a, th a 3D cube if you like um, promoting the Super Street Fighter 4 series on um, Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 so as you can see guys it's a um, it's a cardboard box and you've got Ryu there and if we turn it around it shows us Blanka and then turn the box around again Yuri 
and let's have a look if there's there you go and you got Ryu at the bottom again so that was the first okay, one guys and this is the second one guys so again it's another nice sturdy cube display so promoting the new Lego Harry Potter for years one to four and again as you look around the cube guys you've got the various characters from Lego Harry Potter so that one there and that one there so there we go guys that's my uh, my pickups from yesterday so as always please let me know your comments as to uh, the selection that I picked up and uh, the prices that were paid and uh, as always guys thanks very much for watching and I'll put up another video shortly bye for now